Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about the relationships between angles formed when a transversal crosses through two parallel lines. In this diagram, I've labeled the transversal N. L and M are parallel to each other, while the transversal cuts through them. This forms eight separate angles. Angles 2 and 6, and angles like them, that are on the same side of the transversal, and also on corresponding sides of the parallel lines, are called corresponding angles. These types of angles are equal in measure. Angles like 4 and 5, which are in between the parallel lines, or on the interior of the parallel lines, but on alternate sides of the transversal, are called alternate interior angles. They're also equal. Angles like number one and number eight, which are on alternate sides of the transversal and outside of the two parallel lines, in other words, on their exterior, are called alternate exterior angles. And these are also equal. So with all of these equalities, together with other relationships we've already learned about angles, if you know even one angle in this diagram, you can figure out the rest. So for example, if angle one is 110 degrees, we can use that to figure out the rest of the angles. We're gonna first identify any corresponding and vertical angles for angle one. Remember, vertical angles are angles directly across sharing the same vertex. So angle one and angle four are vertical angles, and vertical angles are equal as well. So angle one and angle four are equal, but angle one and angle five are also equal because they're corresponding. They're on the same side of the transversal and they're on the top side of the two parallel lines. And corresponding angles are also equal. But once we know angle five, angle eight is a vertical angle for angle five, so we also know that angle. So, so far we have angles one, four, five, and eight are all 110 degrees. Next, we're gonna use the idea of supplementary angles to get angle two. Angle one and angle two together add up to 180 degrees, or in other words, are supplementary to each other. So that must mean that angle two is 180 minus 110, or 70 degrees. But automatically then, we know that angle three is 70 degrees because it's vertical to angle two. And we know angle six is 70 degrees because it corresponds to angle two. And we know angle seven is 70 degrees because it corresponds to angle three. So we have all of the angles in the diagram labeled. Many of the homework exercises that involve transversals cutting through parallel lines will be questions like this one. Here we're told that line M and N are parallel, and then we see that line L is cutting through them, so it's a transversal. We're told to find the measure of each marked angle. What this means is that the angle between the transversal and line M here is 3x minus 80, and the angle between the transversal and line N over here is x plus 70. And we're supposed to use that information to find the measures of those angles. In order to do that, we need to figure out the relationship between the angle that's marked x plus 70 and the angle that's marked 3x minus 80. And it has to do with their relative position to both the transversal and the parallel lines. Notice that both of the angles are between the parallel lines. In other words, they're on the interior of the pair of parallel lines. And they're on opposite sides of the transversal, also called alternate sides. So these are alternate interior angles. Alternate interior angles are equal. So that gives us an equation we can solve to find x. We know that the angle x plus 70 has to be equal to 3x minus 80. Solving for x, we're going to subtract x from both sides and add 80 to both sides. On the right, that's going to give us 2x. And on the left, we'll get 150. So now we have 2x equals 150. We can divide both sides by 2 to get x by itself. This means that x is equal to 75. Unfortunately, we weren't asked to find x. We were asked to find the marked angle. So we have to plug that value back into the expressions we were given. 
So if you plug 75 into x plus 70, you're going to get 145. But you're also going to get 145 if you plug 75 into 3x minus 80. And that makes sense because alternate interior angles are supposed to be equal. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video.